the time, Cordy Barnes looks like a Yale grad and a Wall Street stockbroker, which he was. The other half, he resembles a rural businessman, his Aspen image. For 25 years, starting in 1954, he was the chairman of the Music Associates of Aspen. His life in New York prepared him for his enterprise here, which turned out to be as much vocation as avocation. In New York, Cordy, as he was affectionately called by his friends, was a trustee of two music schools and the director of a symphony society. In golfing terms, he once said he played about a 90 piano. He kept practicing to improve his piano score at his Aspen home at the junction of Castle and Conundrum Creeks, where he was well known as a champion patio chef for charcoal broiled trout. An expert in statesmanship and dealing with temperamental musicians and the community, Cortland was also a first-rate fundraiser for the MAA. Although he demanded quality in music programs, he was most concerned with the stature of the music school. To Cordy Barnes, the school, which had 200 students in the mid-50s compared with 900 today, was the most important element of the music program. He said he regarded the festival as a byproduct, even though he attended every concert. The Aspen music program is firmly established. This is a quality program, he said in 1955. Thanks to Cordy's leadership, that statement can be repeated today with complete accuracy.